on you guys it is your girl Dea. welcome welcome back to my channel y'all today it is wash day and i'm so excited because we are actually going to be using a new line that just came out by tgin well i don't really think it's new but it did just come out not too long ago i did a reel on it actually probably like two months ago and now i'm actually gonna try the line on youtube for you guys because like i feel like the line itself is really good it's really hydrating and i think that's exactly what my hair needs especially since it's a little still cold outside i don't know if you live in new york you know that the weather been a little wishy-washy one day it's hot one day it's cold one day it's raining one day it's snowing like you really never know in new york so in today's video that's exactly what we're gonna be doing my hair is a little pre-detangled well it's not little my hair is pre-detangled um i went ahead and pre-detangled it with the texture id coils detangling conditioner this right here if it has hair on it don't mind that if you guys are new here don't forget to hit that subscribe button turn on that post bell notification so you're notified every single time you go upload the video follow me on my main social media account at hairs dana it is always on the screen and the link is always in our description box and let's hop into it so first things first of course we always have to shampoo our hair i'm gonna share with you guys exactly all the products that i received from tgin and the products that i am going to be using today because i'm not going to be using all of them i probably won't be using one of them but i am going to be using like majority of them so first things first of course we are going to start off with the rose water sulfate free hydrating shampoo it's a lightweight moisturizing shampoo for soft smooth frizz free hair now sadly my top did break off um i think when they sent it to me i don't know ups usps it was a little too rough on my package so now i have to open it like this and pour it into my hand next we are going to use the rosewater first free hydrating conditioner next thing that i am going to be using today is the rosewater hydrating hair mask um i used this i think like a week ago i really like this because it's hydrating it smooths through my hair really well and then last but not least i am going to be using the tgin rose water curl defining mousse first things first of course we're going to start off with the shampoo um i implemented a new um routine now especially when i shampoo i rake the shampoo into my hair now you guys will see um but yeah i'm gonna go ahead and wash out this pretty tangle in my hair and we're gonna get into this wash day so let's get to it hi guys so i'm gonna be doing like a little voiceover of course we're gonna start off with the shampoo i really really like this shampoo like it was hydrating it soaked into my hair and i think moving forward i will definitely be incorporating the raking method into my wash day especially when shampooing i never realized how stretched my hair could be with just shampooing when doing the rake-in method like i really do recommend it because any other time that i would just regularly shampoo my hair and scrunch up my hair i would always wonder why i had so many tangles why it was harder to detangle my hair even after i put in some leave-in conditioner so the rake-in method really provided me with a lot of stretch and i feel like my scalp was clean my strands were clean you know all of the above my hair felt hydrated it didn't feel stripped so I definitely recommend this shampoo, especially in the winter time. You know, our hair gets dry. You know, winter itself is always freaking dry. So if you're looking for a hydrating shampoo, I definitely recommend it. It was so nourishing to my scalp. I didn't have any tangles after y'all. Like, I was really shook, as y'all can see. Moving forward, this is what my hair looks like after the shampoo. It looks so fresh. Like, that black color is so bold, which is what I really like, especially after I wash my hair. It looks so clean. It felt so good. Like, ugh, I really, really love this line. I also really enjoyed the leave-in conditioner because it soaked into my hair. Besides having, like, high porosity hair, I think that it was super hydrating. It provided good slip. Um, and I didn't really experience any tangles, especially since I, like I said, did the raking method with the shampoo. It was so much easier. Everything was just like so easy with this line. And this is exactly what my hair looks like after the leave-in conditioner. It was so fluffy, so thick, so moisturized. And now moving on to my favorite part of wash day, which is of course deep conditioning, which is honestly essential and one of the most important parts during wash day. Um, this deep conditioner really, really soaked into my hair. I had no troubles. It was just so soft, so smooth, so hydrating. My hair felt so fluffy, so moisturized. Look at it, y'all. Like, y'all can really see, like, this is no joke. I'm not here to tell any lies. Just giving my bare opinion of what this provided. 
Next, I'm gonna be doing a protective style. First, I basted my hair with two of my favorite oils, Jamaican black castor oil and grapeseed oil. Both of them really nourish my hair. And moving on to the mousse, uh, I love mousse, y'all. Like, I just feel this whole line really soaked into my hair. It was super hydrating, and I'm really gonna emphasize that because literally that's what it was. Especially with the hairstyle that I did that you guys will see at the end. I think that this mousse really provided me with a good hold and it really made my curls pop and that's one of the main reasons why I like mousse. I feel like the definition is always there, the detangling process is not too difficult um, and it just made my hair just overall feel so good. Um, typically with my two twists, I like to start off with a little bit of edge control on my edges just to give it that, you know, a little bit of sleek look. I don't want it to look too puffy and I would just go in with my bristle brush and just twist up my hair. If you guys want to see a tutorial, you can check another video that I did put up on my channel. I'll put the link in the bio and I'll also put it right here above the screen. But yeah, y'all enjoy the rest of this video and I'll see you guys at the end. Bye.